This is Shanti from Shanti TV. Today is the last day of 2022. I hope you guys are ready for this one because it's going to be a little long. You know, back in the day when I used to do these videos, I absolutely loved favorites videos and it's something that I enjoyed watching from various YouTubers um, because they would always kind of share what their favorite products were. Uh, that they use throughout the year or throughout the month. Um, and I've done a few in the past. Uh, I have not done one again, but I thought this would be a really, really good time to start uh, kind of a favorites type of video because I just love them so much. So I wanted to share some of my most favorite products or items um, that I used during the year of 2022. And I thought for the last video of the year, this would be kind of a great video to put out there. I hope you are ready. Uh, get your snacks, get whatever it is you need to do, get your drinks, because this is gonna be a long one. Uh, most of these items that we're gonna cover are, I have mostly makeup items on here. I am a huge makeup lover. Back in the day, it was my outlet and that's what I used to like have fun. So makeup is a really big part of my life. Um, all the products that I'm going to talk about, um, I'm pretty much wearing them today. So. so the first product that I wanna talk about is called the Clinique Take the Day Off. So this is kind of an interesting product. If I open it up, it kind of looks like this. And it almost feels like putting coconut oil on your face. So if you have seen coconut oil, you see kind of how it gets hard. And then when you kind of heat it up in your hands, it starts melting into kind of like an oil. This is very similar to that same consistency, but it's not as oily, I would say. And I found this to be really great for travel because it's not a liquid that I have to carry. Um, and also I was actually able to just use napkins and tissue to wipe off my, um, you know, the excess uh, product that you have on your face. And then you can go ahead and use like a small liquid to wash your face if you need to. I do that at home, but when I'm traveling, I'm only using this and it pretty much melts off all my eye makeup, my mascara, and it does it very quickly. And my face feels so good after using this. So I did want to mention this product. It's called the Clinique Take the Day Off. All right. So the next product I want to talk about is uh, lotion. <laughs> lotion for your body and for your hands and for your, uh, not necessarily for your face, but for your arms and legs and your body. Uh, I am always trying to find the lotion that kind of gives me the, the longest lasting, uh, moisturizing. I'm always trying to find the most moisturizing product for my body. I do have dry skin. I live in a very dry climate. So I want to make sure that I am moisturized and, um, I'm sensitive to like really strong, strong smells. Um, and so I did try this product and I have been using it pretty much all year and I do like it. Um, it does have a scent to it. It is the Lancome Nutrix Royal Body Moisturizing. It looks like this in the jar. It's pretty heavy, um, but it kind of melts into my skin. This scent, it's a light scent. It's not very strong, um, but here's what I'll tell you. Um, I like it. I like the way it feels on my body. I have bought it a couple of times this year. So if you guys are wanting something that's unscented, this is not for you. But if you want something that's lightly scented, I like it. I would suggest you go out to your local department store and try it um, because I'm never one for like telling you to 
get a scent and then you don't like it. So to each his own, but I do like the way this um, works with my body. Okay, so let's get into makeup. Uh, one of my, probably my most favorite products to wear is foundation. Uh, and I have a drawer full of foundation. When I was younger, I literally would try every foundation that was out there, you know, heavy foundation, medium foundation, light foundation. And um, as I'm getting older, I'm finding out that I like the more lighter and lighter foundations, almost sometimes just going to a tinted moisturizer a lot of times, just because I don't like that heavy feeling on my face. Um, so for me, it was kind of important to try to find something and wear something that still worked as a foundation in terms of coverage, but didn't feel so heavy. And I would say this year, the product that I have used the most and my favorite product as of right now in terms of foundation is the Clay de Peau Beauty Radiant Fluid Foundation Natural. This is what it looks like. It comes in this pretty hefty bottle. Um, this is a pretty expensive product. Um, uh, I, I actually wear O60 in deep tan ochre. That is my color. It does have a broad spectrum SPF 25 sunscreen in it. Um, and so I don't, I don't wear additional sunscreen when I wear this, but I do love the way this goes on. So what I'll do is I'll take a pump and I'll put it on my hand. I'll take my brush and then I'll buff it in. Um, and I don't use too much either. So, um, but I, this is just, um, a foundation that I've really, really come to love. Uh, and so, yeah, this is the one that I have been wearing. So the next product I'd like to talk about is uh, concealer. And uh, again, I am kind of a, a very heavily uh, like to try products that involve skin. Anything that makes the skin look kind of natural and fresh is what I like. So I have heard about the Clay de Peau concealer, uh, but never have tried it. Uh, but I would say this is my most favorite concealer. Um, right now, it is the Concealer Broad Spectrum. This also has a, a SPF 27 sunscreen in it. So it comes in this, um, it comes in this type of a packaging. And you, you twist up. The color that I am in is Five Honey. This is the one that I wear. Um, some people might find this a little bit drying, but what I have done, the way that I have applied is, is I use, my ring finger and I go in and I let it kind of, you know, your skin kind of heats it up and then I apply it very carefully under the eye. So, um, and it does a great job of hiding, you know, I've got bags, I've got some redness on my skin. So I kind of cover those up with this and then I go in with my foundation and I love it. I love the way it looks. I think it's great. So let's move to eyes now. Uh, I am a huge mascara person because I don't like to wear false eyelashes. Um, if I could, I probably would, but I find them to be just, I don't like the way they feel on my eyes. Uh, and I, I find it to be a lot of work to get them on. It's probably because I just don't know how to do it, but, um, mascara, I, on most days, if I'm not wearing anything at all, I do wear mascara. And I will normally use two different types of mascara at once, but my absolute number one favorite, year after year after year after year, I will try many, many mascaras, and I have, and I do. And I do wear other mascaras, but year after year, the one that I like the most is the Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. It is hands down my favorite. Uh, it gives me fullness. It lengthens um, my eyelashes. I have it on right now. Um, and I just, I think it's great. I, it's one of my very, very favorite mascaras. So let's talk about eyeshadow. So eyeshadow uh, for me this year has been an interesting thing. So back in the day for eyeshadow, pre-COVID, I used uh, powder eyeshadows, 
I used brushes and I would do all kinds of things with all my palettes because I've got a ton of palettes. Well, post COVID uh, and after I got back to traveling to me, I just wanted to do something that was easy, something simple. And so I really started moving towards cream eyeshadows and which is what I have on my eyes right now. Uh, cream eyeshadows for me are just easy. I don't have to think about too many brushes. I can just use my fingers. I can tap it on. Um, I can blend with my fingers. And so um, eyeshadow sticks have become a staple in my makeup bag. So the ones that I have been using are the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks and the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Sticks. Let me show you what they look like. Okay, so here's three of them that I have in my hand. As you can see, they're, you know, almost like carrying a highlighter in your bag, so they really work well for travel, and it, again, allows me not to have to carry too much stuff when I'm traveling. Um, the three that I have here is the Bobbi Brown, this guy in incandescent. Um, I do have that on my eyes today. Uh, the other one, the other two, nope. And I have another Bobbi Brown one in a golden bronze. And this one I actually wear in my waterline as well because I find it brightens my eyes um, when I do that. And then the last one I have is the Laura Mercier that I'm wearing today called Nude Rose. So I applied the Nude Rose first all over my lid and then went in with the incandescent um, kind of towards the middle. And then I used the golden bronze at the ends of my eyes just to kind of give it some depth. Uh, and again, I just love cream shadows. I like the way they look. I like the application. I like the ability to use my fingers. Um, anything that I can, uh, any kind of makeup that I can use with my fingers, I'm really loving that. Okay, I did want to mention um, one of my favorite eyeliner colors is from MAC. It is called MAC Teddy. Uh, it's a brown. It's a brown, but it's, um, it's a brown with a kind of shimmer in it, but not too much of a shimmer. Uh, and I like it because it's not black. Sometimes black is just too much for every day. I like to wear black sometimes on more on special occasions, or if I want to look very dramatic, I'll wear black. But for an everyday look, I really like brown. I think it's a good everyday color. All right, another um, product that I like from MAC is the MAC Highlighter. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in a bright forecast. So kind of once I do my face um, and prior to me applying any type of blush or bronzer or anything like that, I will go ahead and use this highlighter again underneath my eyes in small amounts um, just to highlight um, under my eyes if I want to brighten up that area. Sometimes I don't even use this, but if I'm, you know, going to work or if I'm, you know, dressing up, um, typically I will use a highlighter and this is one that I've had in my collection for a very long time. Really, really love it. All right, so let's move on to the face. So for face, it is typical for me to put on kind of, um, some tinted moisturizer and a bronzer and some mascara and maybe a little bit of eyeliner and walk out the door. That would be my typical kind of everyday makeup. And um, this, I have, I, I, I love bronzers as well. Um, again, anything that has to do with kind of just a natural face, I really like. So I try to, I do try a lot of different bronzers, but this one I would say is probably, um, is my favorite it, it, for 2022. It's one that um, I actually tried various different ones, but this one I would say overall is my favorite bronzer. It is the Laura Mercier Translucent uh, Medium Deep Powder. It is considered a loose setting powder in glow, and it uh, gives it a gives you a glow. 
Um, but I use this as a bronzer. So I use this to kind of go in and to just bronze up my face. I use it on my cheeks. I use it, you know, kind of under my chin. I use it around my forehead. It just gives me a beautiful bronze glow. I don't really know how else to describe it, but um, this is one of my favorites. All right, another favorite product that I have only had for a couple of months now, but it is actually making my 2022 list. Uh, I used to have this product a long time ago and I never replaced it. And I always wanted to replace it, but I just never did. Um, but this year they came out with some palettes um, uh, around the holidays, I would say. And I decided to go ahead and purchase a palette. It is an hourglass palette. This is the tiger palette. I have this one and I have the elephant palette as well. But this is very interesting because it has, it has some really beautiful shades in it. So I use this one for bronzing. I'll use these two here for blush and then I'll use these as highlights. So I do have them on my face today. Um, again, this is one that I use for travel. It does have a uh, mirror that comes on it, but the one thing I don't like is that this falls down. So you gotta kinda, you gotta prop it up on something to be able to use it, but um, I really love the way this goes on the face and glows. Uh, it's, it's another product that gives you kind of a glowing skin, um, and I love that. I absolutely love that. So i um, very happy with this palette. It, it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked in Tiger, and it's a palette. All right, so a makeup powder that I use, um, as I've gotten older, I have noticed that if I wear products that are too glowy, it doesn't look that great on my face. So sometimes I need to tone it down a, a little bit. So what I have used all year and really, really am loving it is this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in medium dark. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, I have it on my face right now. So after I put on all my makeup, I will take this and use this pretty much as a finishing powder. Um, which kind of just smooths everything out, makes sure I don't have like too much sparkle and glow going on, although I do like a little bit of sparkle and glow if you guys haven't noticed. Uh, but yeah, I'll use this to kind of um, just matte, matte, not, I don't want to say matte because it doesn't completely matte everything down, but it, it, it smooths everything out. I'll call it that. It smooths everything out. So this is one of the ones that um, definitely made my favorites for 2022. All right, moving on to setting spray. This is one I've had year over year over year over year. I have heard the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray is very good, I've not tried it. But the one that I have used over and over again, the one that I travel with is the MAC Fix Plus setting spray. Um, I love it, I spray it after I'm done with everything and it kind of reinvigorates my skin um, it helps my makeup to kind of stay in place as needed. And um, yeah, I love it. I think it's great. And it kind of gives me a nice pick me up in the morning when you're like, wake up, wake up. It's time to go to work now. My final favorite makeup product for 2022 is a lip product. Um, so I haven't really talked too much about lip products. I used to wear a lot of lipstick. Uh, and again, I think in the last couple of years, I just have fell in love with lip gloss. I love how easy it is to put on. I don't really have to look in the mirror. I can just put it on and I'm done. And it gives me kind of a nice little shine on my lips. And that's kind of what I've been doing. So, um, I love this particular lip gloss. It's one of my favorites. Um, it is the Pat Mc McGrath Pale Fire Nectar. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. I'm gonna give you a swatch of this because you have to see how pretty it is. I hope you can see that. It's really, really pretty. <laughs> Here, 
I'll put some on. Yeah, I find this lip gloss to be really, really beautiful. Um, she has another one also that I have, but this is the one that I, this color is the one that I probably reach for the most. Um, and I just, I love it. It's um, not too sticky, but sticky enough. I don't like the really sticky ones. It has a scent, I can smell it, um, but it's not anything too obnoxious or too heavy, in my opinion. Um, and it feels really good on the lips. It feels really nourishing on the lips. Um, so I always have lip gloss in my bag and this is one you'll always find in my bag. All right, so let's move on to shoes. I don't have a whole lot of fashion products on the list, um, but I did want to talk about shoes. Uh, shoes are one of my first loves and I have two pairs of shoes that I chose for my favorites for 2022. Uh, one is a sneaker and one is a loafer. So I'm gonna show you the sneakers first. So I don't have a whole bunch of information on this because I did buy it probably two Nordstrom sales ago, anniversary sales ago, um, but it is absolutely one of my favorite sneakers. That They are very comfortable and it just gives me a little pop of something. And these are it. They are my P448. Uh, they're high top sneakers. This is what they look like. They resemble the Golden Goose, I would say. Um, they are the most comfortable sneaker I have ever worn. Um, they have a side zipper here, so you don't have to take this, um, you don't have to keep tying it. So very easy to put on, put off. They're not very heavy. Um, and they always give me kind of that extra something that I'm looking for. Um, Cause sometimes I don't wanna be so plain. Sometimes I wanna be a little sassy and this gives me the right amount of sass. But this is one of my all-time favorite sneakers for 2022. All right, the next pair of shoes that I chose for 2022 um, is an office shoe that I wear probably every time I go to the office. They are one of the most comfortable office shoes that I have. I call them office shoes, but you can wear them casually. And they are the Gucci Brixton Loafer. This used to be all the rage back in the day. So this is a convertible loafer. You can actually wear it down this way or you can wear it up. I have never worn it like this. You can, um, but I have never worn it that way. I love these and I would like to get another pair uh, of these in the white for the springtime. Uh, I just, I, they're, they're so comfortable, they are elegant, they are classy. Um, I, I think the, the style right now, loafers are still in, loafers will always be in, they'll never really go out of style, but the ones that are kind of, you'll see in style right now are the ones with the big lug soles. So, um, and I, I know I'm, most of the designers have put out um, a loafer with a lug sole, but, I love this, it's classic. Time and time again, I go to it. It's lightweight, easy to travel with, um, and comfortable. I, wear, I can wear them all day without any problem. So, love my Gucci Brixton convertible loafers. All right, so I did wanna choose a jewelry piece um, that is my favorite because I've worn it almost every day since I've got it, gotten it. I don't think there has been a day that I have not worn it. And it is the Roberto Coin necklace that I am wearing right now. It's in rose gold and it is a single diamond. This is what it looks like. Very simple, very elegant. It's something I can wear again every day and um, I love it. This necklace can go anywhere from 16 to 18 inches. It has two different, um, uh, it has two different loops on the back that you can select to make it longer or shorter if you want, but it's something that I wear every day. I love it and it's a staple in my collection. Love it for 2022. 
All right, so the last item that um, I'm gonna talk about is my favorite handbag that I have worn this year that has brought me the most amount of joy uh, this year. Uh, you probably saw it sitting in the back. Uh, it is my on the go. I'm gonna give her the camera here. On the go GM tote in monogram. They call it monogram on the website, but as you guys can see, it is reverse monogram also. Um, it is beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. It is no surprise um, to you guys. I did reveal um, that I did purchase that and I just love it. It's stunning. It is classy. It is elegant. It's business, it's boss woman. Um, I can carry more than one laptop in there. Um, I can carry whatever I want in there because it's big enough. Um, but you know, it is big. It is, it is large. Uh, it is by far my favorite purchase of 2022. And it's probably seen the most, uh, use in 2022. Uh, for all my travels, I've been carrying um, that bag. So really, really loving that bag. Um, that is my final item for uh, my favorites of 2022. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one. If you can see back there though, we have some other stuff that we need to talk about, don't we? <laughs> um, that actually, that video will be coming up tomorrow. Um, I am going to do a back-to-back -back video, so you're going to see this outfit again um, because we're just going to we're just going to go there for the, for the next couple of days because we can. Um, but yeah, I want to share um, kind of what's in those things um, in the next video. So anyway, I hope you ha guys stay safe tonight. It's New Year's Eve. Um, thank you all for joining me on this journey in 2022 as I... Uh, start my YouTube channel again and um, come back. Uh, I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below. Um, thank you guys um, for the ones that have um, given me feedback on what other videos you might like to see. Thank you very much. I have taken your comments and I have them written down in my planner. Um, and so we will plan to make those videos and I'll be putting that out for you guys. So until tomorrow, <laughs> have a happy new year and I hope everyone stays safe. Ciao.